Kelly, has, it, has patients been key? I mean, a lot of guys want instant results. Has, has this been, has patients been important today? Yeah, I mean, he's not patient. He, I don't want him patient, but he's he's uh, uh, he's kept a good attitude and, and and practiced hard. And of course, he wasn't going to start today. You know, that was a gift. So so from Brand from Brandon Green. So, uh, uh, but certainly, you know, he got out there and he's but he's practiced. You know, he's good against Georgetown. He was better against Utah. He's had a great week of practice, and so this doesn't surprise me that he played really well today. He only got credit for one steal, but it felt like he was very active in the passing lanes. Does, does that help? Obviously, help you guys get more in transition. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think he had a, a, a couple of near misses, but yeah, he, he uh, uh, you know, against a team like that, that you know, they're not ex uh, exceptionally quick, but they move the ball fast. And and when we had opportunities to to uh, get out and deny uh, passes, he's you know probably as good as anybody we have at, at doing that. Frank looked like a pure point guard today. Yeah, he's great. Frank was great, and and and, and you know he he was good because he made shots, but he's also got the ball where he wanted to get it, and, and uh, I think he had nine assists and one turnover, and, and uh, I, I I thought he was I think he's getting better all the time. I thought he, I thought he was terrific. I thought I thought he totally controlled the game, even when and, and and to be quite candid with you, when they made their run and we weren't playing very well, the only reason the game went closer is because of Frank. You know, Frank kind, of, Frank kind of kept him at arms, arms length. Seems like there were many instances of that. Even the first half, they hit a shot. They feel like they're in a lot of momentum, and maybe it wasn't even good offense. But you tossed in some threes that kept things going well. Yeah, I, I, I thought you know they played zone almost the entire first half. They played zone on on uh, on makes and man on misses. In the second half, they played all man. So we we uh, we uh, ball stuck a little bit the first half, but. Uh, uh, you know, we, we made we made shots, and you know Perry didn't play today uh, very much, and so naturally we didn't have a guy to play through on the post, to, you know, like we would normally try to play. What what did you see from Hunter just this week to lead up to the next? Well, game? you know, Hunter would be the first to tell you probably he's had a great week or ten days of practice. I mean, he's been great. So so uh, uh, you know, and, and the other thing about Hunter is I think he's the quickest twitch big guy we got. Other than maybe Jamari, I mean, he's a quick twitch guy, and not not so much explosive, but he didn't have to gather to jump and, and things like that. And so, you know, Norm's been telling me every day he's getting better, he's getting better, he's getting better, and he has, he's gotten better, and and, uh, and certainly, you know, he's gonna he's gonna play more, or at least get an opportunity to play more. We're not gonna play five big guys uh, consistently, but we'll play four, and he's earned the right to be one of those four, you know, at least short term, because it may switch who, who the four are each and every game. Uh, two of the guys who were going to start did not, are they that related to each other? No, no, not, no, Cliff just had a bad day yesterday. Just a bad day. And, and, uh, but Brandon, Brandon just waits. So, you know, he, he basically handed Kelly a starting job. So that's a good lesson for everybody. Do you have more of those little things like that this year than usual? No, probably not. No. See, because in, in, in large part because uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, I think you, people around here care about that stuff, where most places they don't care uh, uh, from a from a uh, media standpoint or whatever. Uh, uh, but they do. But but you guys do here, which is fine. But certainly everything's magnified. When, but I, I, I will tell you this: I've learned a lesson. I'm not going to tell you guys who's starting, so that way you'll never know. Because obviously, when you announced yesterday this you're starting five, and you got two guys not start, then that's what creates a problem. So from this point forward, you guys will never know uh, who I'm starting. But Green didn't get in until way later, so we would have figured out something. Maybe, yeah, maybe. So, yeah. Do you think Kelly has the the best potential to, as far as rebounding outside of his area, since Rush, maybe? Well, Brandon wasn't a great rebounder outside of his area. He went terrible, though. No, but that's, that's not what he did. Uh, Brandon was a good defensive rebounder, but, but uh, he wasn't a great offensive rebounder. But Kelly has the potential to be a, a really good offensive rebounder. Yeah, really good. And Billy, another road game against Temple. I think they got a couple guys back, too. What kind of challenge is that going to be? Well, they, 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 beat, they won at Delaware by 20 after they got those guys back. And so they'll first game back. They'll probably tighten a few things up and be even better. But... but uh, uh, moving forward, but you know, if 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 they've labored this year, it's probably been through scoring droughts, and the two guys they got eligible are, 
our scores. So uh, uh, they got a good team. They got a good team, and playing up there on the road will be will be hard. And, and with the Christmas holidays right behind it, you know, we just need to go. We haven't we I, I, we played numerous games on the road right before uh, Christmas, and, and sometimes we've been able to get through them, but sometimes we haven't looked very good. And, and so certainly we need to go up there with the right mindset and have some momentum uh, going into Christmas. And, and but I but you know I, I think we're playing a little bit better. And, you know we we played a bad half against Utah, but other than that we played pretty well. You know for the most part since the second half of the Florida game. Well, you've talked a lot about Kelly learning how to play kind of on the wing, being being a guard, kind of at that at his height. What what's that process like? What I mean, what have you kind of focused with him on over the last one? Well, to, you, you say focus with him. It's not so much focus with him. It's just all our guys. We try, you know, we set ball screens for all our guys. We 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 uh, we try to teach them all to be guards and and uh, uh, you know and understand the time score momentum and what makes good possessions and bad possessions and. How the ball needs to move and understanding strengths and weaknesses and that kind of stuff. And, and Kelly's done. Kelly's Kelly's improved a lot in the last two or three weeks. He's improved a lot, uh, uh, and he's he's he seems to me he's playing with with uh, with more burst as opposed to just playing at one speed all the time. And you know he's got to play with more burst. But I, I think I think he's you know kept a great attitude. And he's he's played very well. What about Hunter's attitude? Oh, it's a bad. Yeah, Hunter's is great. You know, everybody wants to play, but not everybody can play. And, you know, no matter so you so you play one guy a lot of minutes and and you don't play another guy a lot. But but so now that the the story goes from well, why are you playing him over him? I mean, so so that's the way it always is. But but you know uh, you know we got five guys on the perimeter that are going to play the majority of the minutes, and so you know that the, all those guys will get a chance to get in there and do something. And then you know probably the best guys playing the best will probably stay in. Uh, but but uh, Hunter's kept a great attitude. Is it, is it encouraging that you score 96 points and Perry only scores four? Uh, well, you, yeah, yeah, but 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 it, it's also misleading because Perry didn't play, so you know he, he I don't think he felt well today. Some something, something was up, uh, uh, but I thought Jamari played really well and gave us great energy. And you know he's he and Kelly and, and Hunter get 15 offensive rebounds just those three, so uh, uh, I, I thought he did some really good things. Uh, but yeah, we need Perry to score. In, in games where you're, it's a struggle to score, you're not making shots. We got to have somebody to throw it to, and Perry be that guy. And threes from multiple spots again. Are you pleased with how the, the outside shots have, have come? Well, we shot it better. We, we shot it pretty good in practice. I can't remember how we shot. I don't think against Utah we shot it very good. Uh, I think we went a half of making like three field goals in 15 minutes. So we didn't shoot it great against Utah, but but. Uh, we did the first half, but I, I, I think we uh, we are shooting the ball a lot better from the perimeter, and we, we see it every day. We got good shooters. You know, get Spee and Brandon, uh, and, and Frank. Frank's a great percentage shooter right now, and Wayne's getting better. You, you get those guys, uh, you know, out there. Uh, those guys could knock down shots. Coach, how much pressure is on Frank to perform well? You know, the only shoot point guard. I don't know that it's true, uh, but but I don't. I, I think there's pressure on everybody. I don't think Frank will feel any more pressure. Frank loves it, you know. So, and he, the, the thing about it is, usually when you when you when you uh, when you have a team that that can that has a backup that's very capable, then you know when guys not playing well, you can take them out. Frank's just Frank just just going to have to play through his mistakes a, a good percentage of the time. But I don't think Frank will feel any extra pressure at all. You mentioned he's a good percentage shooter right now. He's taking smart shots. I think so. He's taking wide open shots, and and uh, I wish he'd get in there a little bit more. I think he'd get inside the defense at will, and I don't think he does that near enough. But but I think I think he's playing pretty smart, pretty handy on the offensive end. Svee hit three threes in a row. Do you think that was big for this game and his future confidence? For his future confidence. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I think I mean for the future is you know going into Monday, but but uh, I think it was uh, uh, I think it was great to see him. You know he's, he and he and BG are great great shooters, and, and we've seen Brandon do it, but we haven't seen Steve do it, and so it was great to see the ball go in the hole. But uh, you know the second half, I don't know if Steve scratched the second half. I don't think he did. Yeah, he didn't score the second half, but he made some good moves in there and just didn't finish. At least he was aggressive, which I I think is really good.
How much does Wayne's ability to create and hit passes even when his shot's not falling, how much does that help Frank with his shots? I mean, you get you submit a lot of wide open shots and a lot of that is Wayne setting that up. Yeah. yeah well I, I think Wayne is you know, he's doing some you know, he didn't score the first half I don't think and and then he you know, he, he uh but his shot has been so good in practice. I mean he he'd be the first to tell you that, you know, it feels really good right now. So uh uh, it was good to see him make a couple of second half, but he, he's doing a good job of being trying to be a complete guard. And, and you know, he's a good passer, and, he, and uh, uh, you know, he's good at driving and pitching and that kind of stuff. And he was he was obviously pretty good at that today. All right. Okay, guys.